My name is Jenny, and I'm a wife and mom raising two kids. But I used to live a more glamorous life as a TV reporter. I was on the nightly news interviewing pop stars and politicians. So when I said goodbye to TV and hello to motherhood, I suddenly discovered what we moms are up against. We live in a world that tells us to be rich and famous, thin and successful. You know, almost nobody says, oh, hey, you're a mom? That's fabulous. But you are fabulous. And I'm here to tell you why. It's the Channel Mom Show, celebrating you with Jenny Dean Schmidt. Okay, men, do not turn that dial because I've got something to say to you today as well. Welcome to the Channel Mom Show, celebrating you as a mom, coaching you, informing you, letting you know the latest and greatest to help your life. My name is Jenny Dean Schmidt, your host and a mother myself. You know what, Dan? We just got to, got to comment on that Air Force Navy game. I even listened to it, and I could not believe how it ended. I was glad the Falcons won, but incredible, huh? Yeah, it was a great game. Josh and I were in here listening to the whole thing. It kind of kept us focused off of our work, and it was great. It was. I mean, really, just uh, people on the edge. Almost a heart attack game. I'm just going to say that. Almost a heart attack game. Yeah, but, definitely. But Falcons fans are happy, so that's a good thing. I've got to welcome my son, Dan. He's sitting in the studio here with me. My 13-year-old son, Otis. Welcome, Otis. Hi, everybody. <laughs> he's, he's helping me today by videotaping. All righty. Speaking of the game and my son, this is a show for moms. But I'm going to say up front that moms are intimately involved in sports themselves. Just today, I realized that as I was coming from my daughter's game and then listening to that game on the radio. Uh, we, we attend hundreds of Little League and midget football games and there are quintessential soccer moms out there just rooting for their team, as well as Broncos, Rockies, Abs, and so on. So since I am a fan of sports myself and of Mile High Sports Radio, today we are going to talk about sports and some surprising ways in which they affect families. Here's the deal. This is the part that both guys and girls will appreciate. I watch parents every weekend load up their cars, drive to the field, sit in the bleachers, coach or cheer on their kids. In fact, I am the wife of a coach. My husband has coached both college and high school football. He's been a high school varsity coach for years right here in Colorado. I even watched him play football when he was in high school. Actually, I watched him play football when we were in elementary school, but that is a whole different story. Here's what I want to tell every man, woman, and child who is listening today. Sports matter in the life of a family. We can overdo it or we can underdo it. We can even forget to enjoy it. But I am here to tell you, as the wife of a coach and a mother of both a son and a daughter in sports, I have watched life lessons overflow like lava from a volcano from our family's participation in sports. My husband's football teams have had great years and bad ones. The bad ones are those where most of the best learning is done. Wow. What we can give to our children through teaching them how to learn from losing. Navy is experiencing that today. I have watched my husband give his football players lessons in humility, perseverance, commitment, integrity, each of these things, characteristics that those boys will need for life, for work, family, friendships, and faith. I have watched my daughter go from dancing to joining a softball team and for the first time in her life, really learning what it is to be part of a team, the loyalty, responsibility, dependability that she needs to have as part of something bigger and greater than herself. I have watched my son, as a quarterback, learn how to lead by being humbled and hurt. So come on, this may be a show for moms, but we understand that if we do it right, we can teach our kids how to live by holding on to the lessons that flow out of sports. Remember that. You know, when I used to work in TV news as a reporter, the best part of the newscast was often sports. And you want to know why? While I was reporting the latest news on murder and earthquakes, the sports guy would get to go out there every single night and talk about simple numbers, black and white, who won, who lost, the thrill of victory and the lessons of defeat. In fact, I used to work with Mr. Mark McIntosh at a station here in Denver, so I remember when Mac did sports on television. So let me just say, right now, right here, if you're a guy who listens to sports radio, who follows sports, who used to play sports, who is a fan of sports, But if you're a guy who's tired of feeling guilty about all those negative things associated with sports, like too much beer and scantily clad cheerleaders, I am a mom who is giving you permission to say that sports can be a very good thing for families everywhere. So please know that because I believe it. 
All righty. Otis is just smiling at me because he approves. He's, you know, my whole family's sports crazy. You're, you're a little bit of a sports nut, aren't you, Otis? Yeah. Yeah. He was schooling me today, weren't you? Weren't you having to give me some lessons when we were listening to Navy Air Force? Maybe just a little. Just a <laughs> He's all shy now. He's never shy. All righty. You are listening to the Channel Mom Show where we are celebrating you on Mile High Sports Radio, AM 1510, FM 93.7. I am your host, Jenny Dean Schmidt. I am here for you, Mom. You can also watch us all during the week on ChannelMom.com or come join us on Facebook.com backslash Channel Mom. Come talk to us. Coming up, if you feel unloved or unappreciated as a mom or maybe you're struggling with your faith in God as a mother, we have a truly great woman known around the world who's going to share some very personal struggles and heartfelt advice with you. She is author and speaker Sheila Walsh, known for speaking at the Women of Faith conferences, but also for dozens of books she's written for women and children. You're going to love her, and I believe she's going to help you as a mom. So stay tuned for Sheila Walsh.